here we go. Good morning, folks. It is now September 3rd, 2020. Good morning. We are on our drive to work. Who's ready for work? It's now 5.50 a.m. Been up for about an hour. Feeling great. Oh, a lot of stuff on my mind today, but uh, I had some questions from people yesterday asking, how is my diet? What am I doing with diet stuff these days? Uh, people are just really fascinated with food. Totally cool. Um, I haven't eaten since yesterday at noon. So now it's almost six. It's about 18 hours fasted. I haven't drank anything since 5 p.m. last night. Usually do a, a 12 to 14 hour dry fast every day. Not for any particular reason other than just health. Let my body clear stuff out. No reason to. I'm not thirsty. Uh, and it makes me feel good. It makes me feel like I accomplished something small. A little victory during the day. That's very helpful. As far as the intermittent fasting altogether, that's just a useful tool. And an alarm went off in the middle of my video I was recording. I think we're recording now. It just cuts off recording after that. I am still getting used to iPhones. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a big fan. So, uh, yeah, I miss my Android. Um, the intermittent fasting is just useful. Helps you reach fat loss goals, maintains healthy hormone levels. It's easy to eat on a caloric deficit, which I'm cutting down right now. Got my uh, my COVID-19 gained. I heard a fitness YouTuber say that the other day. <laughs> you know, like a freshman 15 in the dorms, right? It's uh, your COVID-19 that you gain over, over lockdown. I, just, I thought it was catchy. So that's what I do. Spend some time not eating, and then when I eat, good food um, not the most consistent with with uh, not carnivore precipitate though let's just say carnivore so there's a lot of meat in my diet there's cheese uh, but it, it's much closer to meat fat fruit and roots where my wife and I call it mr. F you know because there's a uh, mffr and she came up with the wonderful rearrangement of that into mr. F diet so Meat, fat, fruit, and roots. I love blueberries right now. Uh, I've been craving potatoes the past two days. It's weird. I might have some on the weekend. Fry some up in butter. Smooth like butter. So that's how my diet works. Um, a lot of stuff on my mind, though, honestly, just has to do with, um, with career stuff. Just with work. Not this job that I'm doing. Not even necessarily the job that I'm going into, which I have an interview for this afternoon. I'm very excited for that. Right now, what I'm learning is the Mern stack. It's uh, MongoDB, Express, React, and Node.js. And, and you use that to make websites and applications. Um, yeah, just a full stack there from front to back end. Helps you build stuff online. And that is useful for, let's just say, web development in this regard. It is useful for what's right in front of me, which is work and education and technology within education. Okay. Okay. Ultimate goals in life. I want to work in the space industry. That's what I want. When I, when I wake up every morning, it's like, yeah, I get to go design the screw that fits into this one specific part of this satellite or <laughs> the space shuttle or like maybe I need to get a little bit more specific with my visualizations sure but I just I like science fiction and science fantasy I like the difference you guys know the difference right science fiction is like Star Trek science fantasy is like Star Wars right? okay 40k Warhammer 40k would be like science fantasy but the point <laughs> do all this that's on my mind isn't fictional made up fun stuff it's hard fact fun stuff uh, I I want to work for someone like, like NASA or SpaceX I want to 
participate in humanity's reaching out to the stars. And this initially fueled my education in physics. Yeah, that's fair. And physics wasn't necessarily the route that was for me. I learned in my junior year, I don't think physics grad school is for me. And then after graduation, I went into the workforce. Like maybe some higher education or, or like a pivoting of career or something. Like it just, what I was doing in manufacturing was not what I need to die doing. <laughs> so here I am years later in IT trying to find my way into the space industry. How do I get there? And so part of me is, is nervous. Part of me is worried is a very strong word. I'm not worried about it at all. Uh, I'm worried that I'm, I'm barking up the wrong tree. And learning this MERN stack, learning web development. Is that a waste of time? Is that, am I throwing away between one and 20 years <laughs> learning this technology, learning web development, when I should be focusing on like firmware development or, or something along the lines of C++ and, and robotics, Arduino. I don't know. I don't know. And going back to that whole science fantasy thing, I, I feel like the battle of Yoda and Qui-Gon Jinn in my head. <laughs> but Qui-Gon Jinn, uh, Master, Yoda says I should be mindful of the future. And Qui-Gon's like, yeah, but not at the expense of the present. You know, what's in front of me right now is this next job that's also an education and they're going to need a tech stack that does relate to the web but also I don't know whatever they throw at me right <laughs> that's how tech jobs work in the field that I'm in it's just kind of you learn as you go and they're definitely gonna train you on whatever it is they're focusing on in that workspace so it's not a bad idea to learn this burn stack and in tech anyway, you're learning constantly. You're constantly picking up some new thing. There's always like, okay, we need to pick up this new skill so we can build this tool. And Great, that's actually what I really like about IT programming. The, the whole technology field love the constant learning. That's good. That's what I do in my personal life anyway. I, I'm reading a book right now. I, uh, dragging myself through a book. I'm reading it fine. I read every day. That's great. But I, I just disagree with the author on some very fundamental stuff. Uh, so every time they have some thesis in a chapter, I just kind of groan. I'm like, ugh. <laughs> but I'm learning. And it's it's a good read. Because I, I, I like reading something that's, that's counter to what I believe. Because it, it contrasts what I know, feel, or think, and then I'm able to grow. So it might be a difficult read, but also I, I agree with this person on some other things, so we'll talk about that later. So that's what's, that's what's on my mind today, it's just nerves over, am I wasting my time learning this specific web development skill, or should I, like, sh should I be focusing elsewhere, or should, mm. eh, eh, not a big problem. I think the solution right now is just to stay focused on the burn stack. Just keep working in this regard. I've got a I've got a tutorial lined up for this weekend. It's building a uh, a CRUD application, and then then I want to build I don't know, some kind of e-commerce site with it. I got I think I think I won't do the e-commerce thing though. I think I'm going to to plug it into what I was already building with uh, a ticketing system, but the stack itself is so new to me that this, this it's like an hour long tutorial to build a CRUD app. Just make that and then use what you know there to continue the ticketing system. Because I was building that ticketing system out of uh, <laughs> just raw HTML and JavaScript, learning CSS along the way. <laughs> I'm, why when I add color to the button does the button disappear? Oh dear God! Uh, which is good. It's good. I learned a lot of fundamentals there. But then I was talking to a buddy in web development. And he was like, "You need to learn a framework. Screw those. Like the, not screw the fundamentals. Not forget them altogether. But you, 
it's going to be a very archaic job position that has you coding a website from HTML and JavaScript purely alone. Okay, that's fair. You, you need to learn this framework in and out. And no matter whether that company uses the framework or not, you're gonna get hired if you know it well enough. Because they'll see that you can learn and that you can build with it. And then they'll be like, hey, learn our stack. And <laughs> not a big deal. Like I said, learning's great. So that's why I'm learning the Mern stack. And that's why I'm doing these these tutorials this weekend so I can learn how to use it better so I can build my own thing and then move on to a career in web development that leads to satellites somehow. I don't see it. I don't see it yet. I don't know. But I'm not worried. If right now I'm working this IT job and I'm able to learn web stacks, uh, even with a kid coming up and a new job and you don't know the environment, you can always learn on the side. You can always do like an hour a day of something, whether it's an audio book or hands-on coding practice or like something you can learn and, and expand what you've currently got in your tool set so that you can become what you want to become over time. That's doable, very, very doable. So I'm not worried that I'm gonna like just stop learning and not be able to make it into space. We'll see. I just don't see the exact path right now. And that's fine. Okay. Tell me down below. Am I wasting my time? Should I just drop out of everything and uh, go, go be an intern at NASA somehow? Like forge a, a current student transcript to apply to one of their internships? Ha! I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna go full Qui-Gon on this not at the expense of the future focus on the present thanks for watching talk to you tomorrow